pear jam? The big deal is that there is a long-standing feud between the apples and the pears. Yep. Why? Why? Well, uh, actually, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Do you have any idea, Big Mac? Uh, nope. Then I guess we should ask Granny? Ask me what? Uh, what goes better with apple fritter flapjacks? Caramel syrup or praline? Praline? Oh, that smells great, Applejack. I'm gonna go wash up for supper. Be right back. <sighs> Listen, Sugar Cube. Anytime Big Mac and I ever ask Granny about the feud or the payers, she'd get so upset she couldn't talk. Best not bring it up. Okay, but that grand pear was really nice to me, even though I'm an apple. I wonder what happened. Me too. But if we can't ask Granny, I don't know who... We can ask Goldie Delicious. If any pony knows about the feud, it's the family historian. I'm in. What do you say, Big Mac? Sibling trip first thing tomorrow? Yep. You make an entrance, or is it an exit? <laughs> well, anyway, it's so wonderful to see you three. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Goldie, uh, we were hoping you could tell us about the uh, uh, feud with the apples and the pears. Oh, oh dear. Well, does Granny Smith know you're here? No, ma'am. But I ran into Grand Perry yesterday, and he was real nice. Maybe the feud was a misunderstanding or something, and we can fix it. Uh, well, I don't know about that, little one, but if it's a story you're after, I, I suppose you have a right to know. Uh, let's see, uh, I've got a stack of books here someplace. Oh, Apple Family History, Volume 137. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Feud with the Bears. I mean, pears. My eyes ain't what they used to be. A long time ago, Sweet Apple Acres wasn't the only farm in Ponyville. In fact, there was another one, just right next door. Time to get your apples. Nothing sweeter than biting into a crisp apple on a beautiful fall day. Unless, of course, you could bite into a juicy pear. <laughs> Please, pears are just what happens when you ain't no good at farming apples. Pears are nature's candy. Apples are sour. Like the expression on your face right now. <laughs> and so it went. Hey, Granny and Grand Pear were always at each other. Who was the best farmer? Who took better care of their trees? If Granny read to her trees at night... And then the little tree reached its branches up to the moon, and the moon said, Good night. Why, then Grand Pear had special blankets made for his trees so they wouldn't get cold. Good night, trees. I've got you covered. Mm -hmm. In fact, all the apples in the pears were rivals to the core. The only apple and pear who ever got along were Bright Macintosh and Pear Butter. Psst. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm not supposed to talk to you either. My mom says if you hold a buttercup under your chin, it'll make your chin glow. But it doesn't work on me. See? Does it work on me? It sure does, Buttercup. Buttercup. I like that name. Wait an apple picking minute. Bright Mac and Buttercup, those are our parents' names. Of course, Buttercup was just a nickname your father gave your mother. Pear Butter. Well, that was her given name. Are you saying our mother was a pear? Yeah. <laughs> 